hair, but I saw about this. It's this it was a pimple scab. So I just popped pimple and I guess some pimple scabs over. So sorry about that. I'm going to eventually do it. I'm doing this Easter makeup look. So I'm gonna, first I'm going to start out with loose pigmented eyeshadows. Because if you have foundation on it, it just smears everywhere. But while I'm at it, I'll be putting the primer on and, and just let it sit there. I forgot about this. Take the nose ring out. I always forget to have a nose ring. I'm just gonna prime my face and let it soak in. So, and then using this, the Color Works eyeshadow primer. It's just and. Just using this uh, eyeshadow. It's for eyeshadow, but uh, um, just applying it on. And if you guys um got any uh videos are there you want me to test out? Let me know. Now add it to the list. So that's good for the eyeshadow primer. For some reason I misplaced one of my Elizabeth Moth eyesha eyeshadow primer. So okay, this is good. This is a blending brush, so I'm just gonna Just a, a white base. And just doing a white color base. And I'm going to do a pink and purple eyeshadow look which Easter's more pink so I'll probably do the eyelid pink and then not like, decrease purple so mm, this is just the base color Since this is white, I'll just use the same one. Use a pink color. Just uh, that color, so and for the loose pigment, you gotta tap it because they'll you'll have too much on your eyelids. And so. And just, I'll probably end up getting a more deeper pink color. And 
and this is for the crease and smudge. So basically. It feels pretty weird when I do that. Getting the, the smudge right there. It's just above the eyeball. Let's try this one. Maybe it'll help it a lot better. It's a purple e burgundy color. Try to get it to pop a little more. Just a little bit. Just for it to pop a little more. The purple. I'll probably just need to clean this up right there, but You see a bunch of loose fall out, so just that. Get this pink color and a little pop of that more pink tone. So. And that's the pink look. And make it more shimmering using this uh, shimmery look. So. That's, I've been using the white one also, and it's called or Orchid Ornament, and it's from Pixie. It's a sample, but, and I believe... Done with the eyeshadow portions. And next up, I'm using this Wet n Wild 
if you guys know any like drugstore uh, foundation that works that's kind of lightweight let me know and I'll totally test it out for you guys so So, I'm beginning using this foundation brush. I learned that you, for it to spread more, you just pat it. So, it's not really streak marks. But then, you can... It's a little, getting little streak marks, but you can fix that with your, um... beauty blender so I need to clean my makeup brushes Just a foundation and see if I could find concealer, which is somewhere probably in here. Lip balm. Not a lot of lip balm, but it's a. Uh, it's Hip Miz. It's a lip moisturizer. Do a little bit of contouring. Let me find a liquid contour dowel. There's my contour. I can't try but concealer. Mm -hmm. And I just did the T zone and then the, the redness. I just read it. And then while that's setting, I'll do some blush. I haven't used this in a while. It's called Peachy Pink. And this is what I'm using. This is Ect Ect Ecto Tool. And like the, the stuff came off already. So. I'm sorry, hit pan, so. If 
for a while this was my favorite one I first got it so and some it's crown of my canopy that's what it's called and pretty pink And using this setting, it's called, I'll use this. This is cheap contour, but it's good for using it for a highlighter. I'm going to try to find Wet n Wild white highlighter love that little highlighter just needs a little more So far, this is my favorite mascara. It just pops your. Cover this. I blinked when I had to. Maybe add a little bit of stroke beam. Like a pop a little more. And a little on the nosies. And the keep the bell. I'm doing this lip gloss color. So And this is this pretty color. And I haven't used it yet. So. Do a little lip gloss color. So. 
and this is the pretty lip gloss color. I'll just for a little more pop of pink. I'm using this glam bag from it's a lippy stick. Here's the finished look. Let me. So, this is the finished look of this makeup pink, purple. Just saying that. So this is the Easter makeup look. It's pink, purple. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that I post videos every Wednesday. Every Wednesday and Saturday. And yeah, that's it. And let's get, um, get to... 70 subscribers by the end of this month, which is probably not going to happen, but you guys should totally subscribe. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? So, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. I believe this is going up Saturday. No, wait, Wednesday. Hope you guys had, had a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.